Meg, I'll tell you what. I woke up this morning and I was like, you know, this is perfect football weather, but the Ravens couldn't pull it out. I know, despite all that sunshine, yes. But at least we did have a beautiful day. It was a nice fall day. A little you know? bit of a comfort perhaps for some <laughs> folks. Maybe not so much for you, but yes, it was absolutely a gorgeous day out there. Not the case, though, as we head back to work Monday morning. We're expecting rain, actually, for the Monday morning commute. Our temperatures, well, they're certainly cool, so this 46 degrees. This is from our friend Roy in Annapolis. Partly cloudy, yes, that 46 as of just about 11 minutes ago here as we move to the north, the northwest, in fact, 45 degrees. This is from Westminster, our good friend Phil there with clear skies. So we're going to be mostly clear, I would say, to partly cloudy overnight. But the clouds return and the rain return. So temperatures, BWI 48. Cumberland, you're at 51. Hagerstown, 52 for you. And Westminster, yes, you've left the 50s and are now down to 46 degrees. This is what we're seeing right now on the radar. Well, we are quiet. It is not going to stay that way, though. So a storm system developing over the Midwest. That's going to attach to a warm front and really give us another possibility for strong to severe storms. So you will notice this area of yellow here for the majority of Maryland. Now that's a slight risk on the scale. Keep in mind, slight would be a two out of four, four being the highest, one being the lowest. So this is something we really need to pay attention to for Tuesday. So far, the main threat we're looking at excessive rainfall and once again, damaging winds. It's going to be a similar setup in that we're going to have some warm temperatures. We're going to have a good amount of moisture in the air that could create more instability. So as we take a look at Monday, Monday, we're not expecting strong to severe storms. We're just looking at plain rain to start off the day. So here we are, 6 a.m. You're headed out the door and look what you have to contend with some showers there. Now, as we move into Tuesday, you'll notice it looks heavier here on the radar. So we're expecting some heavier downpours with this system. Here we are, 6 o'clock. And then we're still seeing the rain at noon, and then we actually don't see the front move through into the until the evening. Now, Wednesday and Thursday are going to be lovely, but we do have to get through that rain Monday and Tuesday. So tonight, cooling down to the mid 40s, and then tomorrow there's that high, only a 57 degrees. We jump up though as we take a look at the seven-day forecast. Tuesday, a high of 70. So not good news when we're going to have a cold front on the way because we know that warmth helps to aid these stronger storms. And obviously, Tuesday, there's our little voting box. So folks are going to be out at the polls and dealing with storms, it looks like. Rick. Hey, now, is that a low of 30 I see there yeah. on Saturday? Oh, did you notice that, Rick? Oh, that kind of like jumped out at you? In there. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just going to ignore that. That is sneaky that. over oh, there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you're on to me.